Hi everyone, in this program you will be transposing a matrix. You need to write a program that transposes a matrix in two different ways. So uh, the first way is going to be using a nested loop and the second way is using a nested um, a list comprehension expression or using just a list comprehension, comprehension expression. So here we have a, a three by two matrix. So we can, in Python, we can implement matrix, matrices or matrix as a nested list, which is a list inside a list. We can treat each element as a row of the matrix. So this element is the first row, this is the second row, this is the third row. So because it has three rows, it is three, and because in each row we have two columns, it is a three by two matrix. So the first number denotes rows, the second number denotes columns. When you write it and save it, Python is going to rearrange it like this. This is better readable. And um, we can grab each row, uh, each row from this matrix from this list using the bracket operator or the bracket notation. We have done this, that a lot. So what actually transposing means that you're gonna change the columns with the rows. Now let's say rows are signified by I and columns are signified by J. So all the I's will go to J's, all the J's will come to I's. So a three by two matrix will be converted to a two by three matrix. So you're, you have three rows, three rows are going to be converted to three columns and you have two columns, two columns will be converted to two rows, therefore two rows, three columns, two by three matrix. Use two ways, so nested loop and using nested list comprehension expression. I'm sure you're going to do great. This is a little bit of an advanced um, program and I want you to really practice your skills in this one. Uh, so, as, as usual, pause the video, attempt the program, and uh, you're going to see my solution after three seconds. All right, so how was it? I'm sure you did great. So first off, uh, let me copy this from there and let, him, let me put it here. So we are going to go through approach one, which is using nested loop. So I'm going to say approach one which is using nested uh, loops perfect and uh, the way that i'm going to go about this is i'm going to store the result within this within this matrix i know that when i transpose it it is going to become a two by three so i need to create a two by three matrix so this is going to be a two by three. So I'm going to pass in zero, zero, and zero. Let me copy all of this and let me put it here. Let me save that and I could enter right at here and I could save it and there we go. Python does that out of eight. So we know that this is going to be the result. The only thing that we need to do is just grab the values from there and store it here in an orderly fashion. So first off, we are going to iterate through rows. Now I'm going to say for i in uh, i, keep in mind, i represents rows. We're going to say range. So how can we grab the length of the rows? So I'm going to say len and let's pass in x in there. And it is going to grab the number of rows that it has. Then we are going to iterate over columns. Or calls and then I'm gonna say for J in range how can we iterate over columns the way that we are going to iterate over columns is very very simple so I'm gonna pass in X this is X right so it is going to grab all the rows but I can grab the columns using the uh, for example the uh, first index so using the bracket notation so it is going to grab um, this and this both of them let me store now the result is going to be this variable that we have this this is reals reals result is going to be that variable now we know that rows are i's and columns are j's so the way that we are going to store this result is going to be i 
and j but if you do it this way then it is not going to change at all why because we're st because the first item is a row the second item is a column and the way that uh, the way that we, we we know this is because whenever you grab the first item from this list you're going to get a row you're going to get one item which is one list which is one row and that's why we have passed in here so we want to grab the first row and we want to search within that first row the columns when we grab it we are going to store it within this result and then we are going to go to the next row we are going to grab that row because keep in mind this for loop is going to run for as many times as this x has items so this for loop is going to run this the first one this the outer loop is going to run three times one two three for each time we are going to run each individual row and that individual row has two items that's why we say we grab the row now this representation is incorrect because we want to transpose it so i'm just going to change substitute the value of i for j and j for i and then i'm going to grab the x so result j i is going to be equal to what x i j y i know it it would have made a lot of sense if i just say row and instead of that if i say column and if i pass in here call uh you know what i'm just going to do this and i'm going to say column perfect so we don't have any i or j nonsense that is like confusing this is better so we iterate over the rows we iterate over the columns because we want to transpose it it means we want to substitute the columns and the rows we say that the row should be equal to the column of the result and the column of the x should be equal to the row of the result and that's it so after that what I want to do is now this result let's actually take a look at the result so I'm going to say print result what do we actually get here so let me save that there we go so you got one four seven and five and sorry uh, seven five and eight how is this actually working so we change the columns to rows so what is the first column one four and seven there you go one four seven what is the second column seven five and eight there you go seven five and eight so we have this now you can iterate over this as well because this is a uh this is a list it did return a list yeah it is a list so we can say for uh entry or for data i don't know which one makes more sense and a result just print data and there we go so basically we have been able to change the rows with the columns so in this case uh, we have a well this is not that matrix i'm just going to comment this one out and i'm going to bring this back so you can see that we have a two because there are two items by three column matrix so a two by three matrix now i did explain this a lot so what i would like to do is not explain the other step this much because uh, we need to work through it a little bit faster these are very very simple stuff and you need these this knowledge of data manipulation whenever um, whenever you want to uh, study data science and all that good stuff so that's why i'm giving you this knowledge I'm going to comment out this result as well this is very simple stuff when you get to data science you'll understand what i meant what i mean by this so i'm going to say result now this is a nested um uh nested list comprehension expression lc what do i mean by nested by nested i mean that there is going to be a column and there is going to be a row so i'm going to grab uh, the column and then the row from the x matrix that we have and i'm going to say for column in range of len time len and we're going to pass in the x there this is going to be the first list and then we are going to iterate over the rows so we are going to do both of those in one uh in one go so let's pass in range and um let's grab the len function pass an x and we're going to get the zero index 
there we go so this is going to be the result you can see we have one four seven and we have seven five eight so what has actually happened here let us take a closer look at this so we have substituted the column for row and row for column you can see that they're they are displaced and then we iterate over columns each time that we do this we basically iterate over the row as well so this first entire thing if i cut it that is going to be the expression for the row so each expression which runs for three times is going to run one time for row so three times then one time and then again three times for the next column and again one time the reason that it is going to run once for row is because we have two we are going to end up with two rows and three columns so each of these columns is going to run three times and how do we know it is going to run three times you say that you're talking of you're throwing these ideas out of thin air it is not out of thin air we can see it right here so what is the length of n x we know that the le length of x is three so when this runs for three times then we are going to run this once and we are going to run this again for three times because we do have two uh, we, we are gonna because we do have two columns that's why we're gonna run it for three times and each time this is completed we're gonna run this for rows that's uh, that's how it is going to show us the result so we can print the result let's say print and there you go we got one four seven and seven five eight let's take a look at it one four seven seven five eight now the way that you know that you have not made a mistake is that the first column has to become this the first row so this one this four and the seven this should become the first row there we go and seven five eight the second column has to become the second row that's it for this lecture see you in the next one